Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth Hess, and for my database of the week, I chose to look at Social Explorer. Social Explorer is a database of interactive demographic data, and I came across it during our search activity one, and I just think that the ways and options to visualize the data and the maps and options that Social Explorer has are really interesting and can be used by a wide variety of users and meet their needs. So when you start in Social Explorer, you get taken to this dashboard, you can create an account so that you can save searches and save maps and data sets for later. You can start off just by clicking on a map. It gives you options. This one is data of the census. This is more sense of the 2010 census crime data. And then over here, you can click to the tables, which are all the tables for the data sets. And then the section of teach and learn, which has a couple different cool tools uh, to help educators or students find things that they need. So the data for Social Explorer comes from a bunch of different sources. It comes from the US Census, the American Community Survey, FBI Uniform Crime Report, has information about American elections, religious congregations, Vulcan Project carbon emissions, US business partners, county health rankings, and when you zoom in on maps, there's roadmaps. Um, outside the US, it has very limited data. It only has the UK Census, the Canadian Census, the Eurostat, world development indicators, and Irish religion population. So just looking at a map, you can look at the options to search and different ways you can look at the data. So this is the population density map. You can zoom in. If you hover over, it shows information. You can look at it by state, county, county subdivision, census tract, zip code. You can search. You can change for some of the data, whether you want it to be shaded areas, bubbles, dot density, you can change the colors, you can change the data. So you can click on that and it'll show you all of the options for what kind of data you can look at. If you click on the years, it'll show you what the options are for that year. And you can just find a lot of really cool information this way. You can also compare maps. Uh, side by side or by swiping, you can download and share them. And one of the really cool things in Social Explorer is that you can create reports. So you can create a report table by selecting areas on the map. You can mask map data so that you're only looking at an area that you want to. You can filter the areas. You can add layers uh, to look at different data together and you can annotate the map. So this is really important if you're a user who's trying to create a report or a map or a visual to go with a presentation, whether that's for school or a business report if you're looking at different information because you're looking into marketing if you're a teacher and you need a map with data for a lesson there's just a lot of ways that you can use social Explorer. back to the dashboard it shows you other things you can do on social explorer including these which are tools to help educators so data snacks are different you know stories and encouraging hands-on learning uh, you can look at different demographics that might help a lesson or if you're a student and you're looking for demographics to help you do a report or a research topic. And then if you click through to them, it shows you a map about that topic and gives you a little bit of information over to the side. So those are a really great tool. You can download them, you can share them, you can put them in presentations just for users who want that kind of information for a presentation, if they're looking for it for school, or if you're a teacher and you're looking for it as a tool to help your students, there's a lot of ways they can interact with the data. And then also you can click on demographic profiles, which you can search by your zip code and find out tons of information, which is a really cool tool for community members who might want data about their community if they're going to like a board of ed meeting if they're going to a town council meeting or if you're somebody who's going to one of those meetings say you're a teacher going to a school board about something and you want to have that data to back you up so there's a lot of ways to use it and there it's very visual it really kind of like packs that visual punch of this is what it looks like this is what the data looks like so i just thought that was really interesting the way that it's visualized and the way you can kind of customize that based on what you're looking for to create a report and create a map to help you support data and find ways to show the demographics that you're looking at so that's social explorer i 
think it's really fun to play around with all the options and all the different areas that you can look at. And I hope everybody's having a great semester so far.